Hi everyone, this is Rainy with whyamigreen.com and lately I've been having a lot of people asking me about grow bags and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So what do you do with grow bags once you have them filled up? Well here's a garden that I made today. I actually made the frame about three or four days ago but I filled all those grow bags with soil, put about two inches of water in the bottom of the box and put my plants in. I have everything in there from tomatoes, string beans, squash. I put corn on the cob and uh, green beans in the same basket so they'll grow, the green beans will grow on the corn as it grows up. And what else do I have in there? I have peas also. So let me go ahead and show you the grow bags. Let's get away from this. And this is my little deck garden. So these are grow bags. Now there's all different kinds here, but I'm going to show you a little bit about them. Here's a small one. So you can see it's just a little bag. And you would fill that up with soil. And this here is a small, I believe a two gallon bag. The ones you saw downstairs, uh, I have a deck actually, so that's below the deck because I water, water them from the deck. This is very much an urban garden. Uh, those were three gallons, and I even have a five gallon ones. So anyways, what I do is I fill these with soil, and you have to have soil that would wick uh, water up pretty well. So they're about three quarters uh, peat moss, and cow manure, and let's see, I have a little garden soil in there. So that's the, the basics. I have a little bit of Epsom salt in it. And let's see what else. Even a little bit of lime. And oh, about probably two big handfuls of uh, perlite to aerate it a little bit more. So what you do is as you start to fill it up, you get it about halfway fill. And then you water it down and mix it around to make sure it really uh, gets pretty wet. And then I put a little bit more and water it down. You have to make sure that it's really wet all the way to the top. What happens is as you fill it with water, it's going to seep out the sides. And that's the whole idea. The concept of a grow bag is as the plant grows, the roots will kind of go out and try to get to the wall of the bag. And when it hits the wall of the bag, the fine roots will actually get burnt by the air. So it's called air pruning. It kind of prunes them so they don't get that wrapping around that you normally get when roots uh, get to the outside of a small container. What happens is they get root bound so it stunts their growth. You can see, you can see I'm in the city, there's a lot of noise while I'm doing this, okay. So the small plants get root bound or if they're in a container that can't have air. So with this, it burns out the finer roots and more strength goes into the main tap root of the plant. The result is you can grow plants that are healthier, stronger, and a lot smaller bag. Downstairs I have Cherokee Golds and I have Cucumbers and Zucchini Squash all in three and four gallon grow bags. So I expect them to not get root bound and grow really well and you'll be able to see that at the end of the season. So that's pretty much how a grow bag works. And what you do is you would set it in water. Now, I had some up here a little while ago, and they were sitting in, let's see if I can find it, these little containers. Okay, what I did is I put pulp, maybe, I filled that with water about halfway, and I just sat the bag right inside of it, so it would go like this. Uh-huh. And I just had to keep water in there. And that's pretty much what I'm doing with that big system downstairs. Now, what kind of bags can you get? I ordered these online. Just go online on Amazon and punch in grow bags and you'll find tons of them. Normally they go anywhere from, depending on the deal, you can get 75 cents to a couple of dollars. Now, any kind of bag that will, that's porous will, will pretty much work. Here's one. This is a cloth bag. I got this at Walmart. Actually, I got them on sale for like a dollar each. And this holds, this is a five gallon bag. And what I use these for, the same kind of system, but you see those buckets over there? My Alaska buckets? I have one of these bags in each one of those buckets. Matter of fact, uh, if you can see in the holes, you can probably see the stripes. So I have one of these bags in there, 
and they're actually sitting on a colander to keep them off the ground so that way they're getting air, uh, air pruning all the way around, okay? And of course, I have a feeder coming out of that blue bucket going in there that keeps about maybe an inch and a half to two inches of water so they're always getting fed from the, from the base. Now, if you want to know a cheaper way of doing this, okay, I have corn on the cob downstairs, so I wanted to have uh, enough soil to be able to grow it. So, um, here's a little secret. There's a designer store out there called Walmart. <laughs> okay, let me get this. Uh, the handle's not paying attention. Okay, these Walmart bags, they will work just as well. They hold about five gallons. They're pretty big, okay? So that'll hold quite a bit of soil. That handle just doesn't want to behave. So they hold about five gallons of soil. So uh, that will handle just pretty much any plant uh, you have. I think the one downstairs, I have like three tomatoes planted in one bag. Okay, and they set up pretty well once they're, you know, once they're filled. Again, you're gonna want to water the dirt as you're filling it in, you know, maybe one quarter of the way, one half, and all the way, you know, at the top. And it wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of fertilizer between each layer too, so that way you can have like a time release fertilizer. Now the nice thing about these Walmart bags, I know over here, actually they've been, they call them the 50 cent bags, so they're not very expensive. So ask them for the 50 cent bag, because they do have Walmart bags like this that are like a dollar, two dollars, but those aren't the right ones. These are a nice thin, thin, flimsy bag. Actually, I didn't think it would work when I first saw it. So I bought one, brought it home, put it in the bathtub, put water in to see how fast the water would seep out, and it did wonderful. How long will they last? Well, I think, I know some people say, like uh, these, these these here, the uh, gray ones, the felt ones, they say they're like they're three-year bags, and they say Walmart, they've been using them. Year. It depends how rough you are with them. I mean, I planted some up here just about three weeks ago and when I brought them downstairs I already had a couple of good sized holes in them you know because I have so many plants in this small space that you know you kind of trip over yourself so yeah some of them will last they say it is three years is one year this five year bags uh, personally I get the least expensive one as long as you can get through the year and just get new ones I mean it's not that much of an expense or use the Walmart bags for 50 cents each and throw it away. It's not a big deal, you know, if you think of all the things you're going to get from it. So I think that pretty much answered all the questions that people had. And oh, one thing I did on the ones downstairs, because it's in the sun all the time, I put a little bit of bark around the plants at the top, just so the sun wouldn't be right on the, you know, because the soil is a little damp all the time. And I didn't want to grow mold, uh, you know, mildew, or whatever that is that grows moss on the top, so that bark will keep it off. And, of course, the water between the bags, you might get mosquitoes there. So you can either go get some of those tablets to uh, do away with mosquitoes from Walmart, <laughs> okay? Or uh, some other people I saw actually filled up the box or the swimming pool with uh, those little pea rocks. Just so the rocks kind of go above the, I guess you could say, the level of the water. This way the mosquitoes can't really get in the water, but the water's there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you're not growing, you're not green. Bye-bye.